friends i hope all are doing great so today we are going to study the vibration sensor so this is the vibration sensor which we are going to study they come in the market in various form uh, the very common use of vibration sensor is in the cars nowadays but you can use this vibration sensor in industry as well and uh, this vibration sensor is also used for the security purpose so let me explain you about this particular sensor so this is uh, this uh, blue color uh, scare shape thing is potentiometer you can change the sensitivity of this potentiometer using sorry this uh, vibration sensor using this potentiometer and there are three pin in, in it so first pin which is uh, vcc it is written over here there is a symbol of ground in the middle pin and the third pin is do do means digital output pin so this third pin will give you either one or zero depending upon whether this sensor is sensing the vibration or not so uh, there is led as well so this led will on as soon as vibration will be there initially on pin number d0 of this particular sensor will come one but as soon as there will be vibration there will be zero this is the power led so this led you can see this led is the uh, power led and this led is the vibration led and there is a hole so through this hole you can fit this sensor uh, in the uh, machines or wherever you want to fit it right and this is the actually sensor which is sensing the vibrations this is ic this ic inside it is lm358 ic this is the comparator ic which will compare the signal coming from the vibration sensor and the potentiometer so let me show you how we can use it because whenever you will provide the vibration so the time of vibration uh, like the output time of this led will be very very low but that low time is sufficient for the microcontroller to read maybe you won't be able to see that led fluctuations properly because vibrations are very fast as soon as you will provide vibrations led will be on and immediately it will be off but that short time of signal is sufficient if you are giving that signal to the microprocessor or microcontroller so i'll use it on breadboard so this is the breadboard and this is the sensor this is the arduino i'll use a led as well so that i can show you properly when the vibrations will occur so this is the uh, resistance and this is the led so this is the positive leg of the led and uh, this is negative leg of the led so this is arduino board so let me first provide plus and minus to this uh, board so this is ground ground to the middle pin then this is plus 5 volt plus 5 volt to the vcc of this uh, vibration sensor then signal we are going to use the signal on pin number 8 so this is the signal signal on pin number 8 of the arduino then we will provide pin number 9 to the led through this current limiting register so the register we are using is of 100 ohm over here because microcontroller is providing 5 volt and this uh, led is working on low voltage approximately 2.5 volt so that's why we have you to we have to use this current limiting register and one more pin left is ground so this is the ground of the led and uh, let me provide ground over here so this is the circuit made for it and vibration you will provide by touching these sensors so there will be vibration right you can change the sensitivity if you feel like sensitivity is low through this potentiometer so let me provide the power supply using this uh, usb cable through the laptop so we are going to provide power supply through this usb cable through the laptop so this is the laptop so now let me explain you the code the code is very simple so the code is very simple so this is uh, there are we are using two pin vibration pin uh, on 8 8 is the number of uh, pin of the arduino then pin number 9 of uh, arduino is given led then void setup we define both these two pin 
LED as a output pin and uh, vibration sensor as a input pin so we will go down so what I have done over here so I have just uh, made the LED blink two times as soon as power will be given so that I will be able to know that Arduino is working okay there is nothing to do with these uh, four lines with the actual code of the programming actual, actual code for the uh, project but I have used just to show you that Arduino is working so 500 millisecond is the time so I have written over here LED high then 500 millisecond time then uh, again LED low 500 millisecond time again LED high 500 millisecond time again LED low 500 millisecond time so there are two times blinking of the LED over here now if I'll go in void loop then if you will see over here if digital rate vibration so is equal to low means as soon as vibration will be sensed then uh, this is wrong okay so as soon as vibration will be low then uh, LED will be high for 4 seconds low means whenever there will be vibration so low data will come from the vibration sensor and else LED will be low all the time so this is simple code very very simple code right few lines code so now we are going to show you the working now if you will look over here I am going to provide the power supply from the starting as soon as I will provide power supply so this LED will blink two times now you can see this was according to this code zoom this was according to this code two times blinking now let me show you the other working of the project so this is the vibration sensor as soon as there will be vibration so this led will uh, will be on for four seconds like this now look you can see led is on for four second again I, if i'll provide the vibration you can see led is four second on You can change uh, the sensitivity of these vibrations on this uh, sensor and if you can focus over here there is a LED please focus on this LED you can see as soon as I will provide vibration so there will be a small LED blinking now you can see okay as soon as I will provide the vibration there is a LED blinking over there so that is basically blinking LED let me take out the sensor now you can see this is the LED which was blinking right so this is the simple working of this project I hope you like the video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel and uh, if you have doubt regarding this sensor then please let me know let me tell you one thing uh, some sensors have a different shape I'm going to attach the image of those sensor as well you can go by those sensor as well but the working is same there are only three pin VCC ground and digital output so this is all about this sensor thank you so much so this is all about this vibration sensor if you found this video useful then please let me know in comment section and uh, please let me know in comment section if you have any doubt as well regarding this sensor thank you very much for watching this video